Are you drink it or what? Yes. So. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Serve Meat. We're doing another Thirsty Thursday episode here at Pineapple Ink Tavern. We're gonna be here with Zach where he's gonna make us a couple of drinks. So come on in, let's check it out. All right, so now we're inside Pineapple Ink and uh, we're here with Zach, he's gonna make us a couple of drinks. But first we get into it, what's the kind of vibe or feel that Pineapple Ink has? So we try to be uh, very welcoming, welcoming to all, all, all types of folks, you know, come in here and enjoy a good drink, some awesome food, great art all over the walls. Um, it's really just like come as you are, elevated kind of bar, bar scene. All right, and then um, it is fairly new to Augusta. Um, when did they actually open? March. 11th, I believe. You actually created the the, mid, the bar menu, right? Yeah, the cocktail menu. I did. Yeah. Okay. That's correct. So that's that's really awesome. Have you done that before? Or was that your first time doing that? So first time creating an entire menu. Okay. And now, what, what was that experience for for you? Were you kind of like ner nervous about it, or I mean, you've been bartending for a while. No, I wouldn't say nervous is the right word. It was more of a fun project. I dive into those kinds of things probably deeper than I need to right. and end up burning through a lot of booze in the process and uh, sometimes it goes down the drains. <laughs> so I, I like to like craft it as, mu as much as I can and kind of have something on it the menu for everybody, right? You want to come in and you want a Moscow Mule, we got you. You want something stirred and boozy, we got you. You want something like light and refreshing, you're good. It's, it's everybody's welcome here. You like tequila, you like rum, you like vodka. We got a drink for you on this menu. How long did that process take you? Well, a while. So uh, I originally signed on to just to come up with a signature drink for them. And that process took a couple of weeks to kind of like really nail that down. So I wanted that to be perfect. Um, but then after I got signed on for the whole menu, it probably took a, well, a month and a half or so to like, from like you know your like outline, you know your your kind of stencil outline of like this is the style of drinks I want to fill this whole menu and fill that gap. To okay, so what's this tequila drink gonna taste like, mm -hmm. and let's work it from there. Right, and then do you try to make the drinks off um, specifically to get the vibe of the restaurant, or you say, hey, this will taste good. Let me put that on the menu. Uh, we definitely wanted to fit the crowd that's gonna that we that we wanted to have here, um, which is essentially everybody. So there, we tried to really make a drink for everybody. Um, but when you create a cocktail, like there's like there's a creative process to you know being able to kind of fit what you want to to like the crowd or the the, the atmosphere, right? And that can be as simple as a name, right? Like, right. like we have an old fashioned on the menu. It's stirred, it's a little bitter, it has a nice peach flavor to it, some chamomile bitters. It's, it, I really enjoy that drink, it's very tasty. But it's, it, I don't know that you, like that alone fits the vibe, but if you call it a flush your heart, which is what we call it on our menu, fits the southern vibe, the kind of like common man, come in, hang out, oh bless your heart. Special wise, what kind of specials do we have here? So we have a daily happy hour, from Wednesday through Saturday from four to six. We always have uh, three cocktails on happy hour, usually two or three beers and a, and a glass of wine. You know, pretty significantly reduced prices on those, as well as some rotating food menus. Nice. And then we'll put the happy hour uh, times on the link, in the link in the description down below. Can you find that stuff on the website or? Usually our uh, best place to find our specials for happy hour would be the uh, our social media. Okay. So check out us on Instagram, uh, Facebook, that kind of thing. Um, yep, okay, and we can link that also down below so it'll be easy for y'all to access that. So, how long have you been bartending? Well, that's like a loaded question <laughs> for me. It's like behind a bar in a commercial setting, uh, not that long, not right? That. Like, less than a year. Oh, okay. Uh, but bartending at like crowd events or just like, Diving way too deep into the history of booze and cocktails and tinkering, like five years. Okay. And the stuff that, um, if you go on his Instagram, by the way, the stuff that he makes and the 
pictures that he has are absolutely amazing. Um, I came about it just scrolling through and I saw it and I instantly looked and I was like, I gotta follow this guy. So definitely check that out too because they're absolutely amazing. So I'm very like happy to be here with you today. Yeah, that's and, uh, the thing we had a conversation like through Instagram like maybe like three years ago. Yeah, see? <laughs> Sir <laughs> Dean and all equal parts teaming up finally. Looking right. Out. I was looking forward to this. That's, yeah, that's absolutely funny. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy. But we're gonna make some drinks here today. What is the first one called? We're gonna do the open door policy. Okay. So that's kind of our signature drink and it kind of encompasses all that we're about, right? Okay. Open door policy, like everybody's welcome to come in here, hang out, have a good, good drink, have some awesome food. Chef Brandon just kicks butt in the kitchen. Like that stuff he comes up, comes up with, just duck fat and house smoked meats. It's just awesome. So open door policy, everyone's welcome. Come in here, fill your gut, get a good drink. Open door policy, man. So it's, it's a rum drink, has some pineapple, some ginger, a little bit of black walnut, vanilla. I mean, it's pretty delicious. So I'm excited, so let's check it out. So first thing that goes in here is a little bit of black walnut bitters. And then we got uh, some vanilla syrup. Just a touch of vanilla, a little sweetness. Go for some citrus, some lime juice. Got some ginger liqueur. And some pineapple juice. Finally, the uh, center stage of this bad boy, some Plantation Three Star White Rum. Grab some ice. Straight into a glass I got prepped already. And that's the open door policy. So now we're gonna try the open door policy and what would you say like the flavor profile of this drink is? So the goal for this one was to be something that would be approachable to, to many guests, open door policy if you will, and uh, have a little something in there for everybody. So if you just wanna sip something that's like a little sweet but kind of fruity, we got you. Um, if you wanna like look for the layers of complexity, you'll find some black walnut in there, that vanilla syrup sticking out in there. Just It's just like kind of in the background. So it's gonna be kind of like a tropical kind of vibe rum drink. Okay, awesome, so let's try it. Oh yeah, like the pineapple, the vanilla, the walnut, a little bit in the background. So yeah, yeah it's from the bitters, right? It's, yeah, it's just, okay. a, it's just a couple of dashes of, of walnut bitters. Yeah, but the vanilla, I think it makes it taste really, really good. I wouldn't expect or never really thought about that with the pineapple, but yeah, the, the rum and the, the vanilla, I think it's the, the biggest part that you taste right there. You gotta drink the whole thing, but yeah, no, it's it's fantastic. I, I like it a lot. All right, and now we're gonna try our second drink. It is a spinoff of an old fashioned. That's um, right. What what do we call it? Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Like the southern insult. Awesome. So let's check that out and have them do it. We're gonna start off with some 1821 chamomile bitters. A few drops of these guys. We got some peach liqueur. Uh, Bijolet China China, which is an Amaro. And finally, two ounces of bourbon. Grab our ice.
finish it off with a healthy twist. It is. Bless your heart. All right, so here we go with our second drink. It's Bless Your Heart. It's a spin-off of an Old Fashioned. What would you say the biggest difference is between the regular Old Fashioned and this one? So, I'd say the, the bittering component, although we do use bitters, actually comes from an Amaro versus like a, like a tincture bitter, like Angostura. Mm -hmm. So we actually use a Amaro called Bijolet China China. And so that's gonna be your, your bittering agent. And then also, instead of simple syrup, we actually use a peach de four. Right, so, so that's kind of like your, if you take those away and slop in like simple syrup and regular bitters, it's an old fashioned. Just so a little, little bit more flavors on each one of those guys. Yeah, it's just a different twist. That's all. Awesome. Let's, well, let's try it. Oh, that's delicious. That's, um, and again, I love old fashions, but it does have that hint of peach in the background that you get. I, I can drink these all, all day long. Right. Not too sweet, not too boozy. It's just like, right. went for the like, middle of the road old fashioned drinker. Right. That's what we shot for. The peach brightens it up a little bit. You yeah. Know? And it's not like, um, I think like old fashioned, a lot of times, it's somebody that really enjoys bourbon and it's kind of a stronger drink. This one, I think, brightens. Uh, no, it, it, what is it called? Um, Accentuates? It lets more people uh -huh. like this drink. Oh, it makes it more approachable. Yeah, more approachable yeah. Than, than just a regular old fashioned. So. When I think of this drink, I like to think about like a southern old couple sitting on like a, like a big old wraparound porch, you know, sipping tea like on a lazy Sunday afternoon. Yeah. Just bless your heart. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> so, if you like old fashioned, of course you're going to like this. If you don't like old fashioned normally, um, I highly suggest that you will try it. The alcohol is a little bit cut down with the stuff that he puts in it, so it's, it's, it has a little uh, different flavors to it, more fruitful flavor than just a regular old fashioned. So they have it. Uh, definitely check that out. Um, highly suggest. And of course, I love I love old fashions, so this is probably going to be my go-to on on that one. Okay, so there you go. All right, now we're starting on a third drink, and it's called Daisy Chain. Daisy Chain is kind of a take on a house margarita. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit tart, it's gonna have that tequila note, um, some floridity to it with the uh, little from, from the grenadine. Um, it's essentially a margarita, but we actually, actually uh, cut the tequila with some aqua beet, which is a Scandinavian before, or spirit. Right, okay. And so it's kind of a fun little play on a margarita, and it's pink. Nice. People like that. Yes. I don't know if you know, of course, of course, Old Fashioned is my favorite drink. Margaritas, probably my second favorite drink. So this is the place to go on here. I'm very excited about it. We're gonna dive right into it, so check it out. All right. So to start us off, we got a few dashes of Hellfire Shrub, which is a habanero shrub, but it doesn't, it just, it doesn't make the drink spicy. It just kind of helps uh, pop, make some of the flavors pop that we're looking for. So this is not a spicy drink, so don't feel like the Hellfire Shrub means that it's going to be spicy. Next, we get a little bit of grenadine, a quarter ounce. This is helping us with our sweetener and adds some nice pomegranate flavors, some tartness, and some uh, floral notes. We got some Cointreau here, a little triple sec, three quarters or one half an ounce there, some lime juice. for some balance and tartness. And then we split the base here for this. So we got one ounce of Aquavit. And we got one ounce of Blanco Tequila. And I got my rimmed glass all ready to go. Get some ice. Marry these tins. it into our coupe glass, a nice pretty pale pink color. It's gonna be tart, it's gonna have some tequila, lime, aquavit. Look for that aquavit in there, man. It's a fun drink. 
little house margarita. That is the Daisy Chain. Enjoy. We're gonna go off and um, try this margarita. Daisy Chain. Daisy Chain. Oh, it's like kind of a little uplifting. Um, it's bright for a margarita, right? It is. But it's, it's, you do have, I, I don't know what it is. It's like a creaminess. I don't know. It's our secret right. ingredient. That's the aqua vita in there. Oh, okay. So yeah, let y'all check it out. Right there. That's a secret. That's really good. That's, that's. I love, I love the pink color to, to the margarita. Um, it's not that old, regular um, yellow, play, uh, yellow, yellow color to it. Thank you. Everybody's welcome here. We got the old fashioned drink here. We got the margarita drink here. We got the Mai Tai drink here. Got a little bit for everybody. A little bit for everybody. Open the door policy. Come as you are. Come hang out. Get some great drinks and some awesome food. Come to Pineapple Inc. Hang out with us. We got great drinks, great food, awesome beer selection. Got some good wines back there too. I mean, we got a little something for everybody. All right. We we just we want to be everybody's welcome to come in here, hang out, get some great hospitality and some great food and drinks, man. We we just we just want everyone to know about us. Everyone to come in and just check out this awesome art on the walls. Like just like every time you come in here, it seems like you're doing something new from like a you know different different art or different like features to the bar and. Fun little tidbits here and there. If you come in one month and maybe come in the next month, the menu might be completely different. So you have a chance to try different things out, try new things out. Um, definitely take your picture with the mural outside. Um, me and Chase took a picture out of earlier. Stop on by, say hello, try these fantastic drinks. And, and, of, and of course the food too. Um, but we're here located on Broad and 10th Street. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. Uh, and as always, serve it needs.